This video will provide a quick overview of creating surveys. We're going to start with the survey information and properties window, uh, move on to questions and answers, chapters, cover the emulator, um, different survey modes, and how to search within a survey. In future video sessions of this uh, Creating uh, Surveys video series, we're going to cover more advanced fe um, features such as loops and answer scales, GPS, etc. After you've created your survey, the first screen that you see is the survey information. The first tab is the Welcome tab, and the second tab is the actual Survey Info tab. I'm not cover, going to cover everything inside every tab, but I'm going to highlight the most important things. For example, the survey ID. This ID is important in order to communicate with the Dublo support staff about a survey. The version of the survey is the current version. Each time you make a change to a survey and save it, the version is increased. For example, if we make a change right here, Save the survey. The survey version is 2. This is important as on the tablet itself you can see the actual survey version that's on the tablet and then you can make sure that the tablet has the latest version installed. Next tab is the survey properties. The survey description text box allows you to put in a survey description. which will go here on top and will serve as the description to the survey. You can control the maximum number of questions per page, so if you need to change that you can do that. We have a terrific how-to in our online manual site about how to do that, but in general it's controlled from here. And the next list of checkboxes are all kinds of survey properties that you can turn off or on. By default Everything is turned on that makes the most sense, but you can turn it off if you need to. For example, if you'd like to have a prompt that comes up every time a user cancels the survey or gets filtered, you can check this box, prompt on filter or prompt on cancel. There are other options that exist, and while we're not going to cover every each and one of them, most of them make sense by their actual text. The Survey Text tab allows you to control and change all the messages that appear in survey to go during a survey. For example, the error message for questions that are missing an answer is a default one. If you'd like to change that and put in a different message, you can by just clicking here and writing that custom message. If you do that, the survey engine will use your text instead of the text that's displayed by default. There are a lot of other text that you can change. And if you need any specific help on changing these, you can contact the Dublo support team. The rules tab allow you to enter quotas definitions, as we have here, and we have a separate video about quotas. And you can also configure survey initialization code. Whatever script you write here will run when the survey is run for the first or any consecutive time. The kiosk tab allows you to turn this survey into a kiosk-based survey. You can either press the set default kiosk options to run as the default kiosk mode, or mix and match all the different options that you have here. We have a specific online how-to um, we have a specific online how-to article about how to do that. And finally, on the Advanced tab, you can set all kinds of advanced features. For example, you can configure 
answer scales. You can write advanced scripts to use all around of your survey. You can edit the QA score. You can use general jump rules and edit the survey languages. We will cover most of these options in later videos. In addition, you can control whether the survey is an Android-based survey or a Windows-based survey. Keep in mind that the Windows-based data collection apps support running Android scripts as well, but the Android scripts do not support running Windows-based scripts. So our, our advice to you is to create Android-based surveys whenever possible. The strict JavaScript validation checkbox is checked automatically for you by default. This will make mistakes in writing JavaScript-based Android surveys a lot easier. We recommend keeping this checkbox unless you definitely know what you're doing.